All right, we're at a pig vigil right now outside of a slaughterhouse that slaughters 10,000 pigs per day. We're bearing witness to the pigs going in, stopping the trucks, giving them water, giving them love, and then these people show up. They think it's fucking hilarious to come and set up a barbecue right in front of us. They just came across the road as we were bearing witness to the truck and brought over a hot dog and offered it to us. If you recognize them, give them hell. We're ready for my the my once a month barbecue for Fearman's pork. I do it all the time. Hopefully it's gonna be a, a really good turnout. <laughs> so a buddy of ours just did a bit of recon, went uh, up the street, and uh, apparently my barbecue is a success. Word got out, and uh, there's a lot of people there, a lot of hungry people ready for some hot dogs. So. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. I haven't done this barbecue in a month. Last time nobody showed up. <laughs> you hungry? Yeah. All right, let's do a little bit of a detour. We'll get some McDonald's. Hot dogs are gross, and the way they make hot dogs is even grosser. Like, they, the, the animal cruelty that goes into a hot dog is ridiculous. I'm surprised more people don't know about this. Maybe some people should raise awareness as to why the hot dogs are so bad. <laughs> it might as well have me meal. <laughs> Yo, there, God damn it! One more to truth. I'm at my annual, uh, no, monthly cookout where I can barbecue up hot dogs for the Fearman's employees. And uh, apparently it's a pretty good turnout. There's a bunch of people over there. The cigars make me lightheaded. I think I should put it out. Call the police for what? Hot dogs! More hot dogs! No, you are not hungry? I think that might be cannibalism if they eat a hot dog. Hot dogs! For what? Yeah. I guess don't want a hot dog. Maybe they're not hungry? They seemed pretty upset when I went over there. <laughs> Got it! I got buns, I got relish, I got ketchup, mustard. You want a hot dog, buddy? Grab a hot dog. Enjoy. Day. It appears we got a Mexican standoff. 
they might stay here as long as we stay here. I really don't want them to come over here. I don't though. know if they'll have the energy. Just screw them. And do not the wrong. I would just keep them as where? It's just like you wouldn't put them in your Why would I keep any human? Why would I adopt their child? It's the same reason. They are the same sentimental being. This is like big ingredients. They are so gross. It's all that's you left wait, over. Wait till you get Nothing cancer. goes to. I didn't bring any water. Oh, tastes like bleach. Let's check these bad boys. I think it might be time to leave. <laughs> I'm getting tired and lightheaded and I kind of want to go for a drink. I guess they've won this round of cook cook-offs. Barbecue cook-off. I'd like to stay but I gotta go to work! I guess they weren't hungry. Cautious? <laughs> I think so. I hope she did. <laughs> it must hurt to eat all that soil all the time. Jesus, oh, look at that car. I don't think he eats soy. He definitely eats bacon. So, uh, how do you think it went? I think we got mixed reviews. I don't think we'll be getting five stars on Yelp. To be honest, uh, it wasn't very sanitary. I mean, I did bleach that cooler, but I mean, it was dirty, you know? Almost as dirty as those trucks. Well, apparently from reviews online, my barbecue was a bust. Uh, you know, I showed up to have a simple barbecue, a nice barbecue for the employees at Fearman's Slaughterhouse. And uh, all these people showed up to protest my barbecue. I've never done anything to them. I don't know why they would protest my barbecue. But I'll tell you one thing. It's so the last time I do anything for anybody ever again.